there everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo. The stocks washing and reviewing so far almost the end of the month. First three months of the year through March 22nd. Good strong start to the year. Uh, and it's been a very bullish year so far this year with a low volatility. I would say today is the first day that we've really seen the volatility that I was really anticipating in the market for this year. So it's, it's quite interesting actually. If you'd like more information, you can email me at melissathestockswish.com. Call me at 929-3200-GAP. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, or Skype. So our April begins earnings season. Very excited about this period. Lots of gaps. Actually, today kind of felt like earnings season was starting with Nike. And it's really the best time to trade. It's when you make the donut, so to speak. The time to really make the money is mostly in earnings season because you get lots of gaps. And obviously, the more gaps you get, then the more plays that you have and you get more momentum and more moves and more volatility, which is good for trading. As long as you take it in the right direction, big moves is what you want if you're a trader. So you can short as a trader, you can go long as a trader. And some of these trades that we've did since the beginning of the year are long, some are shorts, but I do tend to focus on the short side first, which is what Nike was today. So off to a good start for the year. Advanced trading totals, again, these are all the trades I called in the live trading room. You must take my class and learn my system to join the live trading room. Um, I think it's important to know what you're doing before you risk money in the market. So that's why I, I have people sign up first uh, to do the class and learn. So off the beginning of the period of the first part of the year, SPY was a loser, second trade winner. Sometimes we do retakes, I was sick in January. Lulu was a winner, Netflix was a winner, SIG took three shots, first one loser, second one, third one winner, AXP was a loser, Q's was a winner here, market closed on the 21st, SWK was a winner, COF was a winner, MKC loser, Q's was a winner, Starbucks was a small winner on the 25th. January was a pretty good month, except for I was SIG. CAT was a winner, GMA winner, T loser, T winner, Q's loser, Q's winner, SPY was a winner, uh, the 31st, X was a winner, Q's was a winner, and V was a loser. No trades first and fourth, off in the fifth. EA was a loser, that just did not work, didn't have the follow through at all. Twitter was a good one on the seventh. Carb took two shots, first trade loser, second one winner. No trades on the 11th. UAA was a loser, then the next trade winner, SPY was a winner, Tiva was a loser, and again the SPY, first trade loser, second one winner, NTAP, just did not work. Both were losers. MGM was a winner. Cisco was a loser on the 14th. The SPY was a winner on the 15th. Market closed on the 18th. WMT was a winner. CBS first trade loser, second one winner. DPZ was a winner. KHC was a winner. That was a nice one. Room closed on the 25th. CAT was a loser. HD was a loser. SJM was a loser on that day. That day just didn't work out. WTW, nice solid gain, 27th, and HPQ was a really nice gap. I mean, that just solidified the month of February. SPY first trade was a loser in the first, then second trade was a big winner. Q's was a loser, TV day off in the fifth. Trip first trade was a loser, Target was a loser in the, fir in the first trade. Second trade worked, but that overall in the day took a while to get going, finally is going. KR was a winner on the seventh. Cost took two shots, first one loser, second one big winner. Huge move on cost. And that was a huge option trade. 11th, no trade. Stitch Fix was a loser on both the first and second, off on the 13th. DG was a loser. DG was a winner. The second one, no trades on the 15th. OSTK, small loser. Spy loser. Facebook, big winner on the 18th. DSW was a nice gap on the 19th. FDX, first trade loser. Second one was a small winner. And then small loser. GES was a loser. CSIQ was a winner. And Nike was a nice gap today and actually went to the dream target. This was a, a quick morning entry, but that Nike broke fast and hard today. So if you're interested in more information, if you'd like to learn what I do, you can risk a beginner amount, you can risk an advanced amount. It's really 100% up to you because you've got to look at what you're doing and you have to determine, okay, this is how much I'm risking, this is what I'm trying to make. Usually if you're looking to risk say a thousand dollars, you're looking to make a thousand dollars. Now it's, this is not an exact science. So you might some days risk a thousand and then it comes into the target or you make the money really quickly and you're up say 820. Well, that's a day, that's profit. Again, this is not an exact science. I do look at exact targets, but I also incorporate a lot of other things with what I'm looking at. The market, what's happening, time of the day, the gap rating. So all of these things are playing out in my mind when I'm making decisions about stocks. 
and when I'm making decisions about where I'm exiting the trades. And again, you learn this in the class. So if you'd like to work for yourself, you can learn how. In the Golden Gap course, you will learn my strategy and you can work for yourself and become a full-time trader. Even though the hours are not full-time, you're working for yourself, you're your own boss, you can focus in the morning if you want. You can train all day if you like to, but I find the best moves do happen in the morning. So I teach my method in a class, it's called the Golden Gap. And I teach the class usually once a month, April 13th and 14th from nine to five is the class, the next class for April. Class tuition is $59.99 US dollars. Class is online, you can be anywhere in the world and take it. You must register by emailing me. I would sign up early to secure your spot. And this is the class before earnings season begins. So I would definitely get in if you wanna learn and get started trading by second quarter earnings season, which again is in April. Uh, so this is gonna be a big class, a busy time period, and uh, spring is usually a, a busy time to trade. Also, we have a lot of things coming up with the trade deals with China, and I believe there's gonna be some movement in the market. I really think that between now and the next month is gonna be an ideal time to be actively trading, particularly day trading, because I think we're gonna see the volatility that I was expecting for 2019 finally, Finally, we started seeing it today, and I think we're going to see more of that. Back and forth, back and forth. And again, that makes opportunity for you if you're trading in the right direction. you got to know where to go long, and you got to know where to short. Have a great day, everyone.